Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Brazaria with the Lakes of Britain Games. On the last episode, we made our way into the town of Mercio, where we took our place as the, um, the new rulers of this town, basically. We drove out all of the people who already lived here in the name of the Lord of Calamity. Um, so that was fun. <laughs> so on today's episode, we need to head up to... Mount Killeraus, where we should hopefully find the exorcist and legates who um, we're trying to sacrifice to a volcano. It's gonna be fun. Um, but before we do any of that today, we need to do the expedition. Take a look at this. Show us your determination. Well done. I'd expect no less from Eifried's crew. It worked! Huge success! So nothing new then? Good luck out there. Don't come back empty-handed. Nothing new. That's kind of useless. Okay, that's fine though. We'll keep going there. Right, we've got everyone- Why is Aizen not in the party? That's my real question. You want here. me in? Fine by me. Yeah, it better be fine by you. Uh, yeah. Okay, so before we actually do um, the main story today, we do have some side quests. Or, uh, sub quests. Not entirely sure. Tonight we bring down two legates and awaken the Imperians. Failure isn't an option. Wait, hold on. Uh, I hated these go so quickly. We have the will. All that's left is to make it reality. Oh, for God's sake. Onward to the searing cold of the life spring. They go so quickly. How are you supposed to read that? Okay, um, before we actually go up to the life spring, talking to people because that's a thing. Hi! What could we do with these yaks? If we leave them here, they'll die. Hmm. We should try eating the one before we decide if we're willing to take care of them. Well, you can certainly try. Okay, um... Hi there, more pirates. This entire town is pirates. <laughs> hey, Skipper. Try not to use your power to make the volcano erupt on us. I can't make any promises. Please don't make the volcano erupt on his eyes. Hi, Benwick. Leave the rest to us. I can't guarantee we'll pick up your bones if you die, though. That's fine. Well, um... If we die, we die. We're not looking for bone collectors. Who's through here? Oh, this is not where the... Oh. This is not where the exclamation point is, but it was where a grape gel was until I got rid of it. Okay. Hi! Hey, teacher! You managed to decipher what the ancient book had to say about Inominat's awakening, didn't you? Right after we escaped from Titania, yes. I'm just sorry it wasn't of much use to you. Oh, come on, Grim. I'd say it turned out all right. That's not for you to decide. You're not seriously blaming Grim for all that. No, I'm not. But I'd still like to know anything more specific about Inominat. Please, tell us what you've learned. All right. What Inominat means to fully awaken isn't a large quantity of malevolence, but rather the quality of it, in eight types. Specifically, he needs despair, hatred, greed, conceit, lust, obsession, cowardice, and selfishness. If each was assigned to a single Therian, then Velvet would be hatred and Kamawana greed, right? Medissa would be conceit, Teresa is lust, and Orthrus... Obsession? And cowardice for Griffin. That leaves the Rhino Stagros with selfishness. But Artorius was trying to steal despair from me. How does that fit in? Eight types of malevolence and only seven Therians. It definitely doesn't add up. Whatever the case, it seems obtaining this eighth malevolence is the final obstacle before Inominot's full awakening. I see. That would certainly explain Artorius's behavior. His plan was to foster profound hatred within Velvet, before plunging her into despair. And he used her brother to do it. If that's true, gathering all the Therians served a greater purpose. Right now, the Abbey has no means to collect despair. But with Teresa dead, shouldn't a new Therian have taken her place? Yeah, but after we killed her, the Abbey still went out of their way to try to capture me. That must mean they haven't been able to secure the new Therian. 
And even if they did, it wouldn't have despair. That's a good point. Artorius spent three long years trying to foster the despair within you. If that is indeed the specific type of malevolence Inominat needs, it must not be something one can find overnight. Right. We need to attack while there's still time. Indeed. Yet... Is something troubling you? Yes. It comes down to the very idea of quality where malevolence is concerned. When you talk about the relative quality of something, what you're really talking about is its purity. That would mean that Therians pick out and devour this pure malevolence. Yeah. But malevolence by its very nature is impure. Therefore, for some person or creature to become a Therian, they'd need to be responsive to a purity of impurity. Surely few could ever meet such a stringent criterion. So we don't need to worry so much? Oh, but I think I know someone who fits that description. Perhaps a certain succession of top exorcists who have tried to suppress and purify the spread of malevolence. You don't mean... It's just a concern. For now, at least. Puri of Impuri. Hmm, interesting. Go on and see with your two eyes. That's the only way to learn the truth about our world. You're right. I like books and all, but I need to explore on my own if I'm really gonna learn. <laughs> if only all students were as bright as you. He has a bright kid. He's a good kid. I love Lafazette. What a good kid. Right, where am I going? <laughs> We've got two more exclamation points. Let's go talk to Dial, because he's standing here high. Kurogane. What kind of fool turns himself into a blasted sword? <sighs> That's so crazy, I can't help but respect it. That, that was supposed to be a sniff at the end there, but... <laughs> I don't know if that actually worked. Um, is there anything through this way? It's Heather Luke. Nope. No one there. Okay. Right, we've got an excavation point up here, and then there's one with Kamalana and Padissa, which we'll have to go see. Hi there! A merchant friend who works with the Abbey told me about this one weird Class 4 island. Some exorcists went there, and when they came back, they were laid up in bed, having awful nightmares and saying strange things in their sleep. What sort of things? Stuff like the walls moving and attacking them. Fairies flying in front of them. All kinds of weird. Couldn't those just be demons they saw there? Hey, I ain't done. Towards the end, they were talking about not wanting to see people's backs. That they hated them. They hated backs? What could that mean? I don't know. That's what makes it so strange. Maybe they saw the back of some demon on the island, and they don't want to be reminded. Your guess is as good as mine. But if you do decide to go, you'd best watch your backs. You can now go to a new class for administrative zone. Yay. <laughs> Bit of a strange question. But how exactly does one go about watching their own back? Use a mirror. <laughs> Just carry a mirror in front of you at all times. And one behind you as well. Oh man, okay. Kamawana, Medissa, we're here to speak to you. How are you doing? Don't worry, Kamawana. There's nothing to fear here. Fear? Are you scared about something, Medissa? You can tell me about it. I'll listen. It's just us here, and my lips are sealed. Everyone knows I'm good at keeping secrets. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll tell you. All right. Go on. Velvet and her friends left to go fight one last battle. It's a really important fight. For you, for me, and for everyone in the whole wide world. How important is it? More than I can even imagine. And right now, nobody knows how it'll go. Or what will happen afterward. That sounds scary. It is. That's why I was thinking of praying for you to be safe, sweetie. No matter what happens. But it just feels strange to do that. Strange? Why? Well, my god was someone who'd take away the feelings of those who prayed to him. <laughs> That's silly. Wouldn't he get lonely if he had nobody to pray to him? Yeah, I think he would. I think I understand. Something really big is about to happen and you're worried because you have no one to depend on. Don't worry, I'm right here with you, Medissa. 
and so are Dial, and Orthy, and Russ, and even the Rhino Stagros. So you're not alone, Kamawana. Or... Maybe a kid, a lizard, two dogs, and a beetle aren't much to depend on. No, I think I can count on all of you more than I can that god at this point. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> Better than a god? I'm not sure I'd go that far. But if I'm ever in danger, I know my mom will come rescue me. I know she will, so don't worry about me. You're right. Your mother will protect you. I promise. Yep. I know it! Oh, Kamoana, Medissa. Surely there's some way we can save Kamoana and the others. I couldn't tell you. I just feel like I have to do something for Kamoana. Well, I mean, you did kind of take responsibility over Eleanor. Um, you know, for as much as I dislike Kamoana, mostly for her voice. Sorry. Um,. She's actually quite an emotionally intelligent kid. Sorry, not, I tried to say child and kid at the same time. That did not work. Hi. Do you think they'll pick me up a souvenir? Um, anything is possible? They probably won't, though. They aren't very thoughtful, are they? But still, I'd be happy if they all came back safe. You know, I think I'd make her voice more annoying than it actually is. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, you know where we've not been in this town? We've not been up to the sanctuary. Just, you know, speaking of gods. So let's uh, head up to the sanctuary real quick because um, I'd like to have a peek in there and at least it'll come up on the map after that. Um, so if we come back, we'll know if there's anything in the sanctuary. We don't actually have to run all the way up here if we don't need to. <sighs> I wonder if we'll find Kuragane's body. Wait, no, we won't because it's a sword now. Does Rokuro have the sword? Okay, it's it's empty. There's nothing in here. Hmm. It looks very similar to every other sanctuary we've been in. No, um, <laughs> actually, it, it, it's probably the same model. It's it's just I walked in here and it reminded me of the one in um, Marland for some reason, but that was a bit smaller, I think. Right. I want to have a look. Um, we should have got a key item. Yeah, Kuragane Stormquell. A great sword Kurogane forged from his own body. His skill and essence have been entrusted to Rokuro's hands. Okay, cool. We just get that. Right. <sighs> now that we've done all that, let's finally go and head out. Um, because I'm sure you all want to see what's going to happen out with the volcano. All right, we are back in the Gabrick Ice Field. Um, oh, good. I still have the geo board. Okay. Let's, uh, let's head out then because there's nothing that we're allowed to do in town. Um, and it looks like there's something here. A wall, perhaps. <coughs> what is all this? <coughs> oh, calm down. It's just steam. Really? Oh, I get it. Mount Killerhouse is melting the bottom of the glacier. Of course, of course. The heat and the cold are engaged in a feudal war. Just like someone I know. Why not worry about the path you're taking? The path I'm taking? Oh, hot! Wait, beneath this ice... Is boiling hot water. How can you be so calm right now? One false step and we're poached! Probably. If you don't slip, you won't die. For the Reaper, you're certainly optimistic. <laughs> Where's that famous apathy of yours today, Mogilu? <laughs> Who cares about apathy? Especially when I got friends as depraved as you! She's she's really a changed person. <laughs> like, not necessarily for the worse. It's probably for the better, actually. Oh man. Oh, oh lord, I did not mean to click on the Wow, we're not allowed to go anywhere. <laughs> um okay. We're fine. <laughs> I wanna go see what's through here. Um I how are you claiming that so easily? How? It's covered in ice! <laughs> Oh my goodness. Alright. Oh look, a guillotine. Love a guillotine me. And a code red demon that we're certainly not fighting anytime soon. Ugh. Okay. Mithril garment, nice. Alright, let's just uh, avoid that. Let's go get the cat soul, because cat souls are important to me. Not cat soul, the box. This one. Okay. Oh! 
obtain Cat's invitation. An invitation from Cat's that says, I want to see Mew and Taliesin. It wants to see me in Taliesin. Guess we've got to go there when we're allowed to go to other places again. Oh man. <laughs> we've opened a lot of cat spawkers, haven't we? I didn't think we'd opened that many. Oh man. That's awesome. I can stop collecting cat souls now. I'm not gonna, but I could. <laughs> oh man. I didn't expect to get that so early on. Huh. Okay, okay, let's um let's head up to the volcano. Since that's where we're supposed to go. Um It's definitely a point of no return, isn't it? If you're not allowed to warp anywhere. Ooh, chest, chest, chest. The sky. The snow. It's all red. So this is a scarlet night. Pretty strange, isn't it? It's amazing. Ah, uh, it's not like I'm happy about it or anything. If you're worried about Luffy or Celica, you don't need to be. I was just wondering what makes the moon turn so red. They say the crimson moon is a gate to beyond, and is proof of humanity's sins. A sign of sin, huh? Maybe the moon drinks up the innocent blood spilled by the wicked. My, it would take a wicked mind indeed to come up with something like that. Please, don't say such frightening things. A scarlet night occurs whenever a full moon is in a certain position. The land and the moon pull at each other, and Earth Pulse energy spills into the sky, turning it red. Yes, and the amount of power is said to create enough mana to affect even an Empyrean. So that's why the ritual is done on a scarlet night. But the world of humanity is violent. And the Earth Pulse is stained with all the blood spilled throughout history. So Rokuro's theory might have hit a little closer to the truth than expected. Oh, <laughs> a wild guess hits the mark. Don't get used to it. It sure does look grim, though. Yeah. Well... I have to say, I'm very impressed at the fact that they are so thorough about this. Like, they were doing the world building and they were like, yeah, no, we have to know the exact reason why a Scarlet Knight happens. Very impressed. That's the cave! I can feel a powerful Earth Pulse flowing inside it. It looks like we can reach the core from there. Alright, here we are. Um... Mount Killeros. Uh... My spring font is what it said. I was trying to use the geoboard when I came in here and I can't use a geoboard. I still can't warp either. I get the feeling I'm gonna have to um, actually progress through this dungeon before I can leave it, which is unfortunate. But it makes sense considering that this is supposed to be within a shortened time frame. That's a very fancy name for a sash, but okay. Oh, actually, can I put that on her? Yeah, okay, cool. She's mastered her feldspar boots as well. Let's give her... Yeah, you can have some quartz boots. Sure, why not? Uh... Okay, we're good otherwise. Okay, sorry. Right. Let's just, uh... Boop. And then head on in. Okay, here we are. Inside of Mount Killeros. We have this kit here. Watch out for erupting volcano. Alright, Velvet. I think it's time you let us in on your plan for how we escape if and when the volcano erupts. There is no plan. Oh, what? Then even if we awaken the Elemental Empyreans, we're still toast! I'm not going to die. Well, I'm super happy for you, but what about the rest of us? I'm sure you'll all make it. Don't you think you're being a bit blithe? I doubt there'll be an eruption at all. We'll only be using the volcano's life spring to push souls into the Earth Pulse. I don't think that should have much of an impact on the volcano's activity itself. Well, if you say so, that's a load off. Aye. But the ancients also say that when the four Empyreans awaken, there's a great shift in the Earth. If they're angry about being roused from their slumber, I don't think a volcanic eruption is something we can rule out. See? What did I tell you? Really, I'm sure we'll be fine. If the volcano erupts, we'll just deal with it. <laughs> You're starting to sound like Velvet. <laughs> you look sure of yourself, but I'm still nervous. It may be best to write up a will. Aizen, do you have a pen and paper? Yeah, but I'm using them. <sighs> That's enough. 
You already know how this will turn out, right? Oh, so you figured that out. It wasn't hard. Besides, it's not like you have anyone to give a will to. Oof, way to cut to the quick. Rest in pieces, Bakula. You just got burned and we're not even in the lava part of the volcano yet. <laughs> Magma, technically. It's inside of a volcano. Um, also, Aizen, when he was saying about having already be already using his pen and paper, was he talking about like writing a letter? Interesting. Write a letter from inside the volcano. So hey, this is what the inside of a volcano looks like. I'll describe it to you in great detail because I'm Aizen and I love over-explaining things. <laughs> oh man, I love Aizen. He's great. I'm f freezing so cold. Are we ready for this? <laughs> if you fall asleep, we're leaving you. Well, I mean, that was great timing, wasn't it? I was trying to listen to what Magula was saying. That was the worst timing. Like, Magula's just talking and then suddenly a centipede's like, Nope, I'm gonna come and say hi. What's up? You totally want to see me over here. Like, wow, okay, thanks. Thank you for interrupting an important conversation. Uh, this is why I turned off automatic mystic cards. Okay, this is fine. We just keep getting in fights that we don't need to be in. <sighs> this is fine. This is why the geoboard is like the handiest thing in this entire game and yes I'm going back for these cat souls because I'm materialistic and I enjoy having large numbers of cat souls despite the fact that I don't need them anymore. Oh lord. Okay, we're good. We're fine. Um, this is a huge dungeon. Like, you forget how, how long it takes you to get through dungeons when you don't have to go through huge dungeons for a while. Because you're just going through places you've already been. And getting attacked by friggin' centipedes! Are we... No! Don't you dare come after me! Oh, for God's sake. There's another centipede! Hundredpede! That thing! No, it saw me! Uh, oh? It's gonna leave me alone? Wow, that was actually polite! It saw the other one get murdered and it was like, Well, I ain't going near that! <laughs> it has a brain! Uh, I take it that this is a... Uh, Geoboard point because I don't have a geoboard. Rest in pieces. Expedition. Take a look at this. It worked. Huge success. Well, we got the pirate flag at least. Oh, we discovered Albane. Good luck out there. Don't come back empty-handed. Nice. Okay. Uh. Albane, a civilization with the power to transcend time and space, it is said to exist in the heart of this continent, while the Rangetsu style originated in the region of Japan. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> they were like, uh, we've got to make it not sound like Japan. Japan. Good enough. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Its guardian was was angry at it. Hold on. You can read a guardian's heart? Um, yeah, sort of. How did I get three quartz pendants for that? Why? <laughs> I don't need that many. Oh, I'll have you... Oh, you've mastered that, so I need to give you the Feldspar one now. Okay, fine. And you can have a another bag. Yeah, take a Uranus one. Uh, have that one, sure. Uh, sure, why not? Uh, what am I doing? Oh, she's fine. She's healed now. I was gonna heal Velvet because she died. But she's fine now because we're eating after battles. Why are you just standing in the middle of the road? Oh, there was a car. <laughs> just looking out the window at people. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't do that. That's weird. Okay, we're fine. We're good. We're slowly, slowly getting through this cavern. This, uh, this dungeon, if you will. Oh, for God's sake, I am sick to death of you. You in particular. Yes, you. Can I, can I get around it or? Nope, 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 You're strong, but I, I hate life. You'll be facing Shigure soon. Yeah, not long now. I know this is a weird time to bring this up, Laffy said, but there's something I've been meaning to ask you. All right. Ask away. I knew you'd say that. So, uh, how was your bath in Mercio? Huh? You, uh, 
You went in with Velvet, right? Just between us guys. What was it like? Well, what are you getting at, Rogoro? Let me in on this, too. It'll be our secret. Not you, too, Aizen! There's nothing to be ashamed of. There are just certain times in life when you need to find your resolve and seize the opportunity. We just want to know what your resolve got you. Right. It's like a test. Stop it! I didn't go into the bath with her! Now that's a shame. That might have been your one shot. Once you're all grown up, you won't be able to get away with it. That's why I didn't do it. I'm tired of Velvet treating me like a little kid. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> you passed the test. Right. You don't need me to watch over you anymore. Why did you laugh like that? We're just happy that you're growing up. I don't understand you two. If you're just gonna pick on me, go away. <laughs> We're sorry, but I really needed that. Laughter's good for the soul. Rokuro... Were you feeling tense? You wouldn't think it, huh? But now I can fight like I always do. I owe you, Laffy Set. Yeah, don't worry about it. Looks like the next test is yours. Yeah. Laffy Set, Aizen, watch me prove myself. We will watch you prove yourself, Rokuro. I'm sure you can do it. Rokuro. How do you think Shigure will move against us? He's not really the imaginative type. He'll be out in the open, waiting for us. Well, that's good. Makes things a lot easier. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we're fine. We're good. Luckily, I didn't get attacked there. Ooh! It's the perfect place for a flanking attack. We don't need to worry about an ambush. Shigure is waiting for us ahead. I don't think we have a chance! I think we do have to worry about an ambush at this point. Oh my god, all the demons. You know, that's fine. That makes it easier to escape as long as uh, the other two don't die. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay, we're fine, we're good. Oh, good lord. Okay, I'm gonna heal. Oh god. Aizen, cook something. This one will do, sure. This will do. Try some. God, he's level 7 at cooking. I didn't even realize he was that high. Oh god. Can we get past this boar, please? Don't attack me. Uh, it's not fun. Ah, here we are. Okay. Um, crap. How's my party? Uh, right. I need you instead of, um... Hmm. Who do I want to play as? I think I want to be a caster. Leave the fighting to me. Um... I don't think I want to get too close to him, so I think I might be Aizen. Uh, this might be a terrible decision, however, we'll go with it. <laughs> My life summed up in the sentence. <laughs> oh man, okay, we're good. This is fine. This is going to be absolutely freaking wonderful. Especially considering how well our other fights with Shigure have gone in the past. Oh man, okay. Alright. Shigure, we are here. Face us. Wow, really? He's really just waiting for us here? Rokuro? It's okay. Incredible! The old bastard forged himself into a sword! Indeed. That blade's the embodiment of Kurogane's centuries of study. The Kurogane Stormquell. I like it. Just Kurogane for now. He will be the blade that surpasses both Stormquell and Stormhell. And when it does, then he will have earned the name Kurogane Stormquell.
Oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. Sorry to keep you waiting. Watch out. I wouldn't be surprised if he used an Armatus. An Armatus? It's not my style to rely on anyone's help. Ha! <laughs> Says the big bad exorcist. Look, you'll even ask a tubby kitty for help. Shut up! I'm totally not! He isn't. Quite the opposite, actually. Shigure asked me to restrain his power. Restrain his power? Wait, you don't mean... She does. It's for my training. At first, I could barely even move my little finger. Morgrim, release my bindings. Can a human even be this strong? Kitty Wampus was holding him back? With enough will, humans can do anything. This was to be my secret weapon against Artorius. I'm impressed. Rokuro! Sorry, but we're pitching in. Good. I'll take you all at once. Forget about fighting fair! You won't beat me unless you use everything you've got! I know. All too well. All right. Let's have some fun. You got it. Round 1013, begin. Seriously, you're still counting? Only because they were all losses. But that ends today. Oh, good. Ineffective. Great. Oh, he's just had to win. Why am I playing as freaking Eisen? Okay, okay. What can I use as Eisen? Um... So hi, this is freaking um, Shigure. This is gonna be fun. Um, I'm actually looking forward to this, although I think we're gonna lose, probably. Oh man. He just one of his BG. Oh, I think he probably switched him at some point. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. Oh man, can I just, this music is amazing. It's, it's so good. Oh no. I don't even need to dodge. It'll be the same every time! Target style! Eagle. Final judgment! <laughs> <laughs> you can That's handle my attacks now! This is where the fight truly begins, Shigure! What do you know? I totally agree. Oh, um, so this battle has a really cool thing with Mystic Hearts, which is the entire reason why I've got Rokuro in the party. Um, I'm... I'm Kind of hoping he doesn't leave the party at this point, actually, because I don't want to get hit with that missing cart. Okay. Uh, part of me wants to go up and actually fight him, and part of me is like, that's a terrible idea, don't do that. What is that? We're actually doing alright. Oh, hi. How you doing? Hi. I'm gonna go and uh, grab that soul. Hi, Eleanor. Oh no, Rokuro's gone. Oh, no, don't do it, Mystic Arm, please. Please don't do it, Mystic Arm. Hi. I'm gonna go and grab that fifth soul. Nice. Okay, I don't need any more now. I'm good. Okay, okay, crap. Hi! Hi. Oh, no. I don't even need to dodge. It'll be the same every time. Eagle! Hey now, what's wrong? Don't disappoint me, Rokuro. Let me handle this. Well, you're the one who switched out, you idiot. Oh god, okay. Oh, freaking Velvet's dead as well. Um, I don't know who she's bringing back, so life bottle. That was pathetic. If you could bring back, uh, Velvet, that would be wonderful. Oh, lord, I... Okay. Yeah, Rooker is the one who decided to leave the party, like an idiot, so... Oh lord, I'm gonna run out of health. 
I don't know if she's gonna get the spell off, but it'd be cool if she did. Oh my gosh, she does! She does it! She does it! Bless you, Eleanor. No, not you. Uh, okay, I've got a grape gel before I get murdered by Ro Rokuro's brother. I almost had Rokuro. <laughs> Oh no. I don't even need to dodge. It'll, It'll be, be the, the same every time. time. No, I can't die here. Okay, someone needs to bring Rokuro back. Oh lord, okay. Uh I wonder if you could just arcade me and then I'll switch over to Rokuro. I don't want to switch over to Rokuro to be fair. Uh you know, life follow me, and I'll try and survive for long enough. Oh lord, we're gonna die. I shouldn't have picked Aizen. Oh lord. Okay, okay, okay. I am gonna... Arcane Bottle... Velvet. So that she can switch over if she needs to. Hoping that she'll do it sometime soon! But preferably with Rock Roll! Velvet! Velvet! You... No! Oh, I just did it on the wrong person. No, don't do that. No, stop it! Don't do it with the opposite! No! I even just- I switched to the wrong person. I switched to friggin' Magilu. Oh well, this is fine. Oh well, we've got Roku here now, so it's fine. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna heal myself, because I don't think anyone's healing me. Okay. I don't even need to dodge. It'll be the same every time! Target style! Eagle. Final judgment! <sighs> We've been in this battle for what, 40, 40 seconds? I mean, there's probably been a couple minutes now, but that's the fourth time you've used your Mystic Art. That's a flagrant overuse of Mystic Art. But I'm not complaining because uh, he just got stunned and now I get to use my skulls. Okay, okay. I'm good, I'm good. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Someone stun him again, because that'd be... Yes! Die or be killed! Okay, I'm gonna get out of the way again. Nope, 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 nope. I did get another soul from that one. Okay, we're good, we're good. Oh, Lord! Die or be killed! Okay, okay, get out of the way, get out of the way. Nope. I have three souls again, though. I am not complaining. Okay. This is this is why I said it was a good idea. I guess. Here I was, like maybe Isaac was a bad idea. Nope, it was a good idea. Oh my god, I'm getting stuns all over the place. Ready to die? Think you can dodge? Nice! Oh, ooh, interesting. Uh, okay, okay, we're cool, we're cool. Oh, oh no, Rokuro's down, Rokuro's down. Not down, but he's out. Okay, 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 could I pull off a resurrection? Uh, I could try. Nope, 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 no, I can't. Oh lord, I cannot. Okay. One, two, three, four. Nope. Okay, someone keep it busy. Yes! Okay. She's alive, it's fine. Uh, Eleanor, heal yourself. Heal yourself. Oh no. Nope. Just, just no, just no. Uh, okay. If someone could bring back Rokuro at some point, I feel like that'd be, uh, handy. I don't need Plundering Ghost, but thank you. I should probably change my fourth attack actually so it's not Plundering Ghost. Hi! Don't do that! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! How, how long is that combo? Oh god, okay. We're good, we're good. I'm gonna heal. 
I didn't expect to get hit by a big thing. There it is. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're fine. We're killing him! We're killing him! I want Rokuro in here for the last bit. In fact, it'd be great if I could do his Mystic Art. I have no idea who would do his Mystic Art though. Oh, I just used Pondering Ghost like an idiot again. I didn't need it. Yeah, I have no idea how to use Rokuro, but I might get him back in here for the last blow! Who could I who could I afford to lose? Uh probably Magula actually. I'll just shuck her out. Or uh If Eleanor gets a bit more BG. Probably just get her. Oh nice! Die or be killed! Okay. Yeah, I think I think if I'm gonna get someone else in I hit Roku. Um <laughs> then I need to do it now. Uh, okay, what am I doing? Should I bring Rokuro in? He's got three BG! I've got one BG. I could just switch over to him. Bring him, sure. Okay, okay. I have no idea how to use Rokuro, so this might be interesting. Uh, uh, Lord, okay. Fire is the best, so let's use Form 1. Uh, uh, Form 5. Oh god, I don't even know what else is... Infernal, Infernal Bloom? Sure. And... Uh... Freaking... I don't know. Oh! Uh, Crimson Flash! There we go, they're on fire. Okay. Let's see if I can get a good enough combo with this guy. Oh lord! Oh, I did it too early! I did it too early! Oh well! I still want to try and get the last hit on him if I can. Oh god. Someone bring me back. Not right now, but... No. No bring me back! Ow. Nope! Oh, I should have used his vengeful stance or whatever it's called. Oh god, okay. Okay, let's let's try and use it. Oh god! Ha! I used vengeance! Okay. Don't let me get the last one! Truly impressive. You people are really something, aren't you? Don't act like you're impressed. I haven't even shown you my true blade. Your true blade? Well then, no time for me to take a break. Shigure! Keep out of this one, Morgrim. He's still got plenty of power left. Of course he does. He's Shigurai Rangetsu after all. Two blades, you sure? Why don't you find out? It's your life on the line. The same goes for you. So this is your true blade. That's right. I developed this technique 
to defeat you. Not bad at all. This is my parting gift to Kurogane. Take... Storm Howl. One last thing. Please, let this fat cat go. Shigure? Shigure, you were ordered to be executed because I... I was already planning on leaving. I was sick of living the life of a chained dog. Oh. Idiot. Stop worrying about the little things. Rejoice when your blade finds its mark. Seethe when it doesn't. Die when one finds you. That's all there is to it. The way of the sword is a simple one. That's what makes it so much fun. Yeah. It really is. <laughs> That's the vicious face I'm looking for. If only Artorius's stony face could smile like that, he'd be a lot happier. Yeah. Velvet. We're good? We're good. My blade found its mark. If you want to leave now, Roguro, I won't stop you. Don't forget, my purpose here is to repay my debt to you. Oh, Roguro, you're too good to us. Oh man, that, that just that entire fight in that scene was so epic. It was so good. Dang, I love it. The cinematography, everything. Th that part at the end there with Roguro putting the blade into the ground as velvet. Um, uh, uses her demon hand. I just, oh, it's so good. <laughs> right, okay. We have a skit here. Yozakara and Mitsu. What's the matter? Why are you crying? I'm not crying. Okay. <laughs> okay? Is that all you have to say? What's wrong? You really are crying. You and Shigure... <laughs> Your brother is... but... Oh, that. It's really nothing to shed tears over. How can you pretend it's not important? Don't tell me it's because you're a demon! You went and answered your own question. <laughs> so you will say it's because you're a demon? No, that's not the answer, actually. It's not because I'm a demon. It's because we're swordsmen that I'm not sad. Huh? When we fought... When we both really fought, I got this sharp, vivid feeling that pierced straight to my core. When we were both throwing ourselves wholly into the battle, we wanted to keep on fighting forever, like an unquenchable thirst. That's a feeling we only got from each other. Lord Shigure did seem to be enjoying himself. I feel like I can understand it a little better now. <laughs> but I'll never comprehend it. That's for the better. If you did, you'd end up like us. <laughs> Probably so. I wonder when I'll be able to have a match like that again. You won't have to worry about that. Hmm? Just as you worked so hard to defeat Lord Shigure, another swordsman will do the same to defeat you. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Your positivity reminds me of him. Now I'm suddenly craving a cup of Yozakura Anmitsu. Yozakura Anmitsu? Cherry blossom flavored sweet bean paste, black sesame ice cream, and fruit. It was Shigure's favorite. Hmm. That's kind of hard to picture, but I'd like to try it. Let's settle then. 
When this is all over, I'll take you out for some. I look forward to that. Then make sure you come back alive, all right? You too, Rokuro. Yozakura Anmitsu. I won't forget. First of all, apologies, I pronounced that wrong. It was Yoza Yozakura Anmitsu. Which makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Man, oh, that scene was so good. I just, I can't stop thinking about it. It was a good scene. Right, we have a couple of side quest things here. Um, also, Expedition came back. Take a look at this. Well done! I'd expect no less from Eifried's crew. Great! Let's do this one Ron Getsu style, guys! It worked! Huge success! Is that... Oh, we've got everything from there now. Okay, we have to go to Albain next. Well, let's just head on there. Show them how Eifried's crew can sail. Nice, only 25 minutes. Okay, let's have a look at this. Rokuro, you said something to him at the end. Tishigure? Yeah. Maybe it's not my place to ask, but... I don't mind. It was just something that happened long ago. The story about Shigure plotting to overthrow our lord. That was a lie. A lie that I spread. But why... I wanted a just cause to strike him down. Storm Howl, Shigure's name, the leadership of the clan. I used to want all of that for myself. Do you regret it? Not at all. Besides, Shigure figured it out a long time ago. But really, I don't know what made me think I had the strength to defeat him back then. He was truly strong. Of course he was. He was the head of the Rangetsu family. The strongest warriors in all the land. Rokuro, does this make you head of the clan now? No. I'm a demon. And more importantly, all I ever wanted was to beat my brother. That's enough for me. You should get out of here while you still have the chance. If things get hairy, I'll run. But please, let me stay here a little longer. I owe Shigure for giving me back my free will. And he always did hate to be alone. I never knew that. You didn't? Weren't you his brother? We never had time to think about anything other than our training. I'm sorry. I didn't mean any insult. He lived and he died according to his own beliefs. That has to be good enough. Humans like that are not so bad. I suppose we aren't. You're a funny sort of Moloch, aren't you? Thanks for the compliment. Definitely is. Shigure really turned my life around when he told me that cats are fickle because that's what cats are. I guess I'm a Moloch, not a cat, but... Anyway, I accept myself for what I am now. That's made me a lot happier. Is that the first time I've done a Morgrim voice, or did I do one in Zisteria? I don't think I did one in Zisteria. <laughs> anyway, Morgrim, love you, babe. You should go to Logris. I hear it's nice at this time of year. Anyway, 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 anyway. I think it's about time to end off the episode for today because this one's gone a little bit long. For me, anyway. I don't know about you. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please let me know down below what you thought of everything that happened in this episode here today, including this climactic fight with Shigure, who we have finally defeated in the volcano. It was freaking epic. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great day, night, or whatever the time is for you. And I will see you next time.